your subconscious doesn't want to click this. But you did anyway. That's good. Well, maybe not good exactly, but it's a start. Let's be honest with ourselves. You are dead. Not in that look behind you jump scare sense, in the you have been dead for some time sense. Deep down you know it, or suspect it at least. Right this second, you are assuming by this rhyme. Where's this going, you ask? So you're not quite ready yet. That's to be expected. Denial, a vital part of the human experience. You've heard your life passes before your eyes when you die. It does, but not in the way you think. Your past doesn't flash before you. Your future does. Not your real future. The future you imagine for yourself. The human mind doesn't handle severe changes well. It needs time to take to process. Remember losing the first thing you really loved? How your perceptions changed? That was your mind trying to sort it out. That's what your life is now. It's your dying mind trying to sort things out. Again, deep down, you know you are dead. But it can't be spelled out here. It would be too emotionally traumatic. So instead, here are a few examples of something that might have happened. That near miss when you avoided a horrible accident. The time you almost drowned but came up at the last minute. That horrible illness that you miraculously recover recovery from. Any of that sound a little familiar? At the moment of death, your mind isn't quite ready to accept the sudden jarring end to everything. So it events your future. That's not possible. It makes no sense you're thinking. That's okay. Time is subjective. Remember how dreams feel like days? Or how when you're in pain, seconds feel like hours? This is just another manifestation of that. In reality, you died less than a second ago. Even as your brain tries to cope, it also tries to understand death. So you have found yourself with more of a fascination of, with death. Horror. Maybe movies. Maybe books. Maybe short scary stories. You've read a few tales. It's comfortable because you are working towards the truth. This sight is simply your mind's manifestation of a coping mechanism. Everything here you've read is preparing you for the transition. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. Well, for you it kind of is. <laughs> Humor. Another coping mechanism. So, you're going to close this story with a snort or the shake of a head. This isn't the finale. This isn't the time you will accept the truth. It's the first seed. You know how in dreams you don't remember everything in reality? When you're, what, What's your mother's favorite food? What's the first thing you felt guilty about? Do you remember where you got every scar? Where was the first place you went on vacation? Anything fuzzy? Are you forgetting things you should know? You're shutting down. Think about it. Sleep well.